okay this is part three of the first example so let's recall what we we have been doing uh for uh the first one so we had uh, alice alice that wanted to send a message to bob so we have alice here and the message that she wanted to send remember was uh meet carlos now what she wanted to do is because we have an insecure channel here she took the plain text and transform it into something that we call the cipher text. Um, now remember that we did that in uh, part two of the example. Now that M here, which is the cipher text, we denoted the cipher text by M. Let's see it's another color here, let's say yellow. So M, and he sent it to uh, Bob. Now Bob, Bob got the cipher text, and now he has to now get back the plain text so he can understand what the message actually is. All right, so let me go ahead and, and, and do that in here. So now what we're gonna do is the side of Bob. So Bob already got the message, got the cipher text, and now what he has to do is translate uh, the cipher text into the plain text. And remember because the cipher is shift three units to the right, Bob has to do the opposite, which is shift three units to the left. So let's see what we have here. So I have here the cipher text, which is P-H-H-W, F-O-U-O-R-V. Now, remember what uh, what Bob is doing here, so let me write it down. What he had to do is have to shift three positions to the left. All right, so let's start with the process here. So let me uh, pick again the white color. So I'm gonna have to transform the letter P. Now, now remember that the shifting now is three positions to the left. So I'm gonna go back and see my uh, alphabet and take look at the position of the letter P and uh, shift the three unit three positions to the left. Okay, so let's look here at the positions of the letters in the alphabet. So we have P. I'm going to mark that down with yellow. So I have to go back. So go to the left three three positions. So I'm going to mark that down like this. It's going to be first, second, and third. So P will be transformed into M. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to mark that transformation here with an arrow. I'm going to choose again the white color so P will be transformed into M. Now remember this is what Bob is doing. Uh, so Bob is doing this transformation. We're going to do the same with the letter H. So H is going to be transformed into some letter by shifting three positions to the left. So let's go back to the alphabet which is right here. And remember, we have to transform the letter H. So let's mark that down with uh, this color, purple. So we have the letter H here. I'm gonna mark that down. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift that three positions to the left. It's gonna be one, two, three. So the letter H will be transformed into letter E. All right. So let me choose the white color and scroll down to mark that. So it's gonna be E. Again, this is H, so I don't have to do that again. So that's E again. Now, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because uh, you know what the plain text is. Now, if you actually go on your own and you do it, and I suggest that you actually do it, you will find out that that W will be transformed into T. Again, the shifting is three units, or three positions to the left. Now, F-O-U-O-R-V, I know what that's gonna be. I'm not gonna check that again. So let's let me just mark down what that is. So what is that gonna be? So F will be transformed into C, O into A, U into R, O into L, R into O, and V into S. So in this way, uh, Bob will get back the cipher text. 
and so that's the whole uh, process so the process uh, let's uh, review what we just did here so we start with Alice wanted to send a message which is we call that the plain text she has to transform that into the cipher text all right and the cipher text is the actual message that is being sent through the insecure channel now the message M goes to Bob and that is the cipher text Bob does not understand the cipher text but the only thing Bob has to do is to reverse what Alice did which basically is th shift three units or three positions to the left so he does that he takes the cipher text and gets back the plain text and the communication is done so basically we did the whole example that's the whole thing one person wanting to sub uh, send a message through an insecure channel uh, so the person who is listening that in case we call that person Eve uh, does not understand what the message is now we did a couple of things here that are important and they have names so I'm gonna uh, explain that so the the example is already done so we don't have to do anything else about the example so let me uh, divide this in here okay so the process one important concept here is the process from going from the plain text to the cipher text is called encryption right you might have heard this uh, encryption or you encryption some other in some other places maybe in the internet um, or what you can say also you encrypt the plain text into the cipher text now the reverse process which is going from the cipher text to the plain text is what we call decryption so one process is the reverse of the other so throughout this example uh, we did some computation but we also learn uh, some concepts that are important and things that we're going to talk about during the class so this is a complete example uh, in the next example I'm going to show you a little bit of a variation on what we did the variation is important because it leads to an important concept that is uh, the division algorithm uh, so we're going to talk about that in the next video